This is a sample uh, video problem for using the motion equations. Uh, this is relevant to chapter 3. This does not include uh, summation of forces. This is just a motion equation problem. Okay. So in the problem, it would state something like an object is thrown upward from a height of 3 meters. Okay. So I'm going to draw a quick picture. So this is 3 meters tall. And we're going to have Mario Ball thrown upward at 2 meters per second. So that would be given in the problem. And then there's a whole bunch of things that I can ask you to find. Okay, I could ask you, how long does it take to get to the top? How long does it take to get all the way back down to the ground? I could ask you, how fast is it going right before it hits the ground? I could ask you, how high does it go off the ground? Okay, these are all questions, uh, and there might be a couple more uh, that, I, that I could ask. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do two of those, but there are other ones if you want to practice. Okay? So I'm going to ask for the first question, how long is it in the air? Or no, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask, uh, how long is it in the air to the highest point? So how long to the highest point? How long to the highest point is one question. And the other thing I'm going to ask is, how fast is it going right before it hits the ground? So how fast dot, 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 right before it hits the ground, okay? So let's address this first one. How long does it take to get to the highest point? Not the time total, just the time to the top, okay? So I'm going to write my five variables, and I'm going to pick a way to be positive. I'm going to call up positive, okay? And the free body diagram, uh, if we're neglecting air resistance, the free body diagram for this problem will simply be force of the weight straight down, okay? Uh, which means our acceleration due to gravity, or our net acceleration, will be 9.8 down. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our five variables. So we're going to have y minus y naught, and if you put x's here on the first test, that's okay. Acceleration in the y, initial velocity in the y, final velocity in the y, and time, which is what we're looking for. Now this is to the highest point, okay, and you get to pick which part of the trip you're going to look at. So we're going to say we're going to start here, and then this object is going to go up to the highest point, okay. I'm not going to consider the whole trip all the way back down, just from here to the highest point. Okay? So, acceleration, this one's pretty straightforward, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. If that's our free body diagram, this will always be our acceleration, if we're on Earth, that is. Okay? Uh, the displacement, don't know that, okay? because this is the distance from here up, not the distance we're going down, the displacement we're going down, it's the displacement from here to here, which we don't know. Okay. Initial velocity in the y, that was given, as up at 2 meters per second. Final velocity in the y direction. Okay. We get to pick when the final part is. In this case, we're saying the final part of our trip is at the top. Well, when something's going up, before it starts to come back down, it has to stop for a split second. So v final in the y will be 0 meters per second. Okay. At this point, we have enough to go ahead and solve for t. So we're going to have, uh, let me see which one is it. Uh, change of velocity over time. Yeah, it's just the first one. So v final equals v naught plus a t. And then we'll plug and chug. v final is zero, so get rid of that. v initial is positive two. Make sure to write your units on the test. Plus negative 9.8 meters per second squared times t. And then you should be able to do the algebra from there, but we subtract 2 from both sides and then divide both sides by negative 9.8 and where's my calculator at? It's missing. Be right back. Alright, and that'll come out to 2 divided by 9.8 that comes out to point, about 0.2 seconds. So our answer is 0.2 seconds. Okay. Now I'm going to erase all of that, except I'm going to leave the five variables and do part two, how fast. Okay. Now the how fast, we're looking at a different trip. We're not looking at from here to here. Okay. We're looking at how fast right before it hits the ground. So we want to go from here all the way down to right before it hits the ground. So some of these variables are going to change. Some are going to remain the same. Okay? Acceleration will stay the same. The initial velocity will stay the same. This stuff, though, will all be different for this problem. Okay? 
So y minus y naught, that's the displacement. And yes, we go up and then down, but the overall displacement is just where do you start, where do you end? Doesn't care about what happened in between. So that is down three meters. So that'll be a negative three meters. We started here, and overall, by the end of the trip, for this, for the whole trip, we went down three meters. So that's negative three meters. Now we're ready to go ahead and solve for B final in the Y. And we don't know and don't care about time. Okay, so this will be the missing quantity in our equation. Okay, because if we don't care about it, we don't want it to be in our equation. Okay, uh, so in this case, it would be uh, V final squared, if you pick the right one, equals V naught squared plus 2A times Y minus Y naught. The V final is what we're looking for. V initial, we have V initial squared, that's going to be 2 meters per second squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times a displacement of negative 3 meters. So I simply plugged and chugged from over here. Okay, and now let's figure out what VF squared is, and then we'll talk about what to do next. So I'm going to plug this into my calculator. So 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times 9.8 times 3. Let's see here, 62.8. So this is 62.8, and if you look at the units, meter times a meter is a meter squared divided by a second squared. And here, that would be the same thing. You can't add apples and oranges. These both have to have the same units, so we are allowed to add them. We get that. Now, that is not our final answer. We weren't asked for how fast squared are we going. We were asking for how fast. So we have to take the square root of both sides. And when we do that, we have to add a plus or minus. Okay? You don't actually have to write that, but you have to pick the right one. Okay? So in this case, V final and the Y would be going down. So it would be a negative. And then whatever 62 the square root of 62.8 is. So 62.8 to the 0.5 power. 7.9 meters per second, about, okay? Now that would be the final velocity. That would be this value here, the final velocity. But they, we asked for how fast, okay? So your overall answer, we don't care about the direction, so it's just 7.9 meters per second, okay? As a reminder, if you're watching this video, problem, you can always go uh, back and forward if I went too fast, and you can always pause it to see what's on board, talking over Mr. Sobey. That's it.